pleasure of speaking with Tampa Shed Conister. Chad, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Pleasure. Thanks for having us on. So exciting for the city of Tampa. Yes, very yes, exciting, very for, the exciting city of for the Tampa. City. Now, of course, we know that due to unforeseen events like the pandemic, this will be the least attended Super Bowl. However, you are in other officials in the area are doing your best teaming with other agencies to provide the best security possible, right? We are. It, it, this has been, we've been planning this for two years. We started planning it when we were at the Super Bowl in Atlanta, visiting there, and then through Miami Gardens at the Super Bowl last year. And now everything's in full swing. Uh, with, with COVID and the pandemic and creating a safe event and wearing masks, I think the NFL's done a wonderful job of the sanitizing the stadium and keeping people off the field and at the different events here surrounding Tampa to, to make it the, the most fun yet yet the safest event. Uh, we're, we're utilizing over 70 different agencies uh, around the state of Florida and around the country to make sure we keep it safe. 70 different agencies. I read that includes the FBI, and homeland security you know this is a pretty impressive thing to pull off people are calling this a triple threat we have the pandemic the super bowl is in the hometown of the tampa bay buccaneers and more people are going to be gathering outside of the stadium than inside a lot of things that's on the front minds of people is the pandemic so let's talk specifically about how we're keeping people safe from the virus or what advice you're giving people to celebrate safely I think the mask is the biggest thing. Uh, even keeping our workforce, you can imagine how many of our deputies and we partner up with the city of Tampa Police Department. It's keeping our workforce safe and and getting getting people educated on individual responsibility. Uh, when you when you can wear wear that facial covering to make sure you're keeping everyone safe. And and you mentioned it. I think the biggest obstacle is you know. Uh, the sheriff's office we, we split the responsibilities we have half the stadium when we take the nfc team well the nfc team this year happens to be our hometown buccaneers so uh certainly a, a lot more challenges to address and at the same time worth every minute hoping hoping that they'll be the ones to hoist that lombardi trophy when the game's over hopefully i i was just saying earlier i heard somebody say don't ever bet against tom brady be, be very careful what you wish for so sheriff tell me about this bicycle response team when you talk about a comprehensive plan like this is rain you're talking about covering things from land by air and by sea and uh, here in Tampa, beautiful tampa bay we have to worry about the water contingency we have our air assets up uh, trying to keep drones out of the area that could be used as a weapon maybe uh, someone's inexperienced and flies it in to harm somebody and then it interferes with our aviation unit and then by ground all the different assets the covert assets are our, our uh, overt assets our uniform assets that we have but we also launched our bicycle response team, a phenomenal resource that can get through crowds, help with crowd control. Uh, again, when you're talking about those responses, when it comes to an important event like this, time is of the essence. And, and this is a tremendous resource to make sure when we have that response, when every second counts, we're there quickly. I know that we are taking the necessary protocol to keep everyone safe. Have you heard anything about possible protests in the area? No, 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 nothing at all. We haven't heard of any protests. We're certainly, that's a big part of it, the, the intelligence side of it, monitoring social media, making sure that we're aware of anything that may be happening. And so far, no protests. There's no active threats. And again, uh, I, I think if I had to get one message out is, is that I, I'm confident that people can find great comfort and have the utmost confidence that we are prepared. Okay, this is not a rhetorical question, Sheriff. Chad Cronister, who are you rooting for? Just just let the viewers know. <laughs> hey, I have to tell you what, of course I'm, I'm rooting for our hometown Bucks, but there's two Kansas City sheriffs because Kansas City encompasses over two states. So now I have two challenges for my badge. So I'm, even my spare badge uh, is on the line as a wager. So if I lose, I have to send both my badges out to the Kansas City Sheriff. So I'm hoping that we're talking later on after Sunday night that I'm getting two Kansas City badges to put on my mantle at the house. Well, guess what? I am going to send you some good luck because that's something that we just don't want to happen. Sheriff Chad Cronister, thank you so much for joining us on News Now from Fox. Pleasure. Have a wonderful day. Great weekend and happy Super Bowl, everyone. 
All right, some of our viewers will now see a two-minute commercial break, and when we return, we will bring you back.